emergencies. How will we respond when the next one occurs? Will we be running to the phone book, using voice to relay information, taking unnecessary time when lives and property are at stake? Or will we be utilizing modern information technology for easy, rapid access to essential data, data that can be shared and enhanced throughout the response continuum, creating an environment of informed emergency response? Right now, we're having to have an individual, a dispatch officer, calling people in sequential fashion, trying to get a hold of the people they need, and that's time. The Emergency Communication Center of the future will bridge this gap allowing them to access and share critical information that just may save your life. Let us paint a vision of that future. After driving all day, a woman falls asleep at the wheel. She hits the windshield with enough force to lose consciousness. Upon impact, the car's telematic system immediately transmits over a commercial wireless network a voice call, exact location, and detailed crash information. The voice call goes to the ECC 911 center along with this package of information. The crash data is then automatically fed into a new emergency medical dispatch EMD protocol within the 911 CAD system. Now EMD uses the urgency algorithm to combine engineering data with observational information to predict the probability of serious injury. The initial injury prediction based only on the crash data is not too severe. An ambulance is dispatched and the EMTs review the injury predictions on the way to the scene. At the same time, the 911 telecommunicator receives the name of the owner of the vehicle from the telematic service provider. She gains access to the driver's personal health records to which the owner granted advance permission. She is alerted that the patient is currently taking the blood thinner, Coumadin. After rerunning the urgency algorithm, we see that we now have a more severe emergency than we first thought. The telecommunicator calls for an emergency air medical transport crew to be activated to airlift the passenger to a trauma center due to the probability of brain injury. The brain trauma team at the center is alerted. Simultaneously, fire responders now know the make and model of the car. En route, they access detailed vehicle structure data via the Vehicle Rescue Database and familiarize themselves with hazards in the car, such as electrical currents and airbag mechanisms. They are ready to start cutting as soon as they arrive. Fire responders rapidly extricate the victim. The EMT stabilize her. The air medical team arrives and airlifts the passenger to the emergency department with the specialized brain trauma team. All relevant patient data is sent electronically to the waiting hospital staff. The operating room is being prepared. This information is fed into the hospital's patient system before the patient arrives, saving the hospital time and expense. Where once emergency rooms admitted patients as blank slates, these properly equipped doctors have a wealth of important information about the patient. Because of the responders, their skills, and the new information they have, the victim receives rapid and informed response. She survives with no long-term brain damage. This project is about getting better information to the right people quickly. Data flows through the chain of response from 911 to EMS to hospital-based care, improving emergency care at each of these points. The question is not if an emergency will happen on your watch, it's when and how will you handle it? Information and evidence-based decisions represent the next generation of emergency response. Get ready to be informed.